from disappearing dots and moving pictures to the unreal scary faces of celebrities. These are 15 mind-bending optical illusions explained. Number 15. Which circle is bigger? We have two orange circles surrounded by a bunch of blue circles. The one on the left has bigger blue circles, the one on the right has smaller ones. Question is, which orange circle is bigger? Well, they're actually the same size. To verify, we can either move them together as is, or we can draw two horizontal red lines. As you can see, they line up perfectly. Finally, we can remove the blue circles and it becomes extremely apparent that the two orange circles are the same size. This is known as the Ebbinghaus illusion and it plays on our brain's relative size perception. Number 14, the black dots problem. How many black dots can you spot? Two, four, 12? In reality, there are exactly 12 black dots at all times. This illusion takes great advantage of our bad peripheral vision. Once you focus on one dot, your eyes continually scan the rest of the image, sometimes making two or three more dots visible while making the other ones disappear or blend in with the surrounding pattern. Once you remove the pattern, you can clearly see the dots. This trick works on white or black backgrounds, and it is pretty cool. Number 13, the same color. Ah, yes, we meet again. The old square A and square B are the same color trick. Um, though this time it's not a trick. As much as you hate this to be true, these two squares really are the same color. There are a few ways we can test this out. We can isolate just two squares and this is what we get. Or we can run a diagonal line and see if the colors match. And we can always open it up in Photoshop and make sure the colors are exactly the same. Finally, we can switch the positions of A and B and boom, there it is, the same color. This is known as the checker shadow illusion and the reason it works so well is because our visual system needs to figure out the color of things in our world. A darker piece with no shadows casted on it would probably be brighter than a light piece with shadows cast on it. So our brains kind of compensate for that effect in nature by having extra contrast appear where it shouldn't. Number 12, goofy faces. Okay, follow my lead. Stare at the cross in the middle. You should see the faces on the left and the right start changing shapes and look increasingly goofy. This is one of the best illusions out there because it works fast and it's very easy to notice. Matthew B. Thompson came up with the illusion while doing research on faces at the University of Queensland. This illusion, like many, takes advantage of our bad peripheral vision. You can replay this part again, but this time stare at the faces. You can see that there is no Photoshop trickery involved. Number 11, color changing lady. Okay, how about this one? Stare at Mona Lisa for at least 30 seconds. After that, immediately look at a white surface and blink fast. Or wait for the video to jump to white and blink fast. Whoa, did, did you see it? Look at that. If you follow directions, you just experienced an after image. When the rods and cones of our eyes stare at an image for too long, eventually they get exhausted. Once the image disappears, it takes a few seconds for your eyes to readjust, thus creating this burnt in image of old information. Pretty neat. And if you wanna try out more, here's one of an American flag and one of Che Guevara. Number 10, the moving star. In this awesome illusion by Kai and Nao, you can see movement where there isn't any. It's due to a peripheral drift illusion. The bigger object is accented by a non-repeating pattern that has a certain flow to it. In this case, the big star makes the whole pattern move. You can clearly see that the file is nothing more than a simple JPEG. You can even pause the video and try it out for yourself. See? It still moved. Hands down, the best example of this illusion is the rotating snakes. While your mind is focused on one part of the image, the difference in color and contrast makes everything else appear like it is moving. If we isolated the circles to one, the illusion is completely lost. Number nine, what do you see? Well, would you look at that? 
is just a blurry face? Or is it two faces kissing? At first glance, your brain automatically assumes that it is looking at a single face since it is inside a face mask. You can immediately notice the two faces kissing if you knew what you were looking for though. A sort of confirmation bias that can also occur while you are listening to someone talk backwards. At first it sounds like gibberish, but as soon as text shows up suggesting what you should hear, you immediately hear it. Number 8. The Red Dot Pop quiz time. What do you see on the screen? A. Just a red dot B. A horse inside a red dot or C. A very detailed horse inside a red dot. Comment down below and let us know which team you are. And remember, it's okay to have only seen a red dot at first. Yet again, our brain kind of brushes off detail unless it knows exactly what to look for. Number 7. Inception Chess This painting is called Chess Master and it was painted by a master of magic realism, Rob Gonsalves. It really throws you for a loop with the crazy force perspective. Is the child giant and the terrain small or vice versa? The fact that it seems like the child and the old man are sitting on a chess piece themselves leads me to believe that the child is normal sized and he is just trying to reach that horse in the far, far distance. Number 6. Facial Recognition Our brains work in mysterious ways and this is total proof of that. These women look attractive upside down, and there seems like there's nothing wrong with them, right? But as soon as you turn the image right side up, their grotesque appearance shows. Okay, okay, here they are upside down again. Right side up, upside down, right side up, and now side by side. This trick only works when you have the whole image upside down, except for the object's eyes. It works on animals too. Pretty much anything that uses our brain's facial recognition will work this way. Number 5. Bridget Riley's Fall This painting is one of the earliest and best examples of an image that appears to be moving when it isn't. Scary, strange, unsettling, disturbing, awesome, crazy are all adjectives that we can use to describe Bridget Riley's work. Number 4. The Brightness Adjuster with the risk of looking silly in a public place, stare at the center of this image and move your head closer, then further. You should notice a big difference in the overall brightness with each move. Moving the image closer to your eyes makes it seem brighter, and moving it away makes it seem dimmer. Number 3. Which face is male, which one is female? Here is an image of two faces. Can you guess which one is male and which one is female? You will find out by the end of the video, don't worry. Number 2. Which direction are the arrows pointing at? This image is perfect for breaking up friendships. Do you see the white arrows or the black ones? It really depends on which ones your brain notices first. After that, it's just a pointless argument since both sets of arrows exist in this image. And on a fun side note, how many arrows do you see in this picture? Let everyone in the comments know. Number 1. Which building is up front? Finally, we get this masterpiece of a photograph. The angle and lighting make the two buildings appear to be the same distance from each other. Maybe even more than that. It seems like they're actually overlapping. Two pieces to the same puzzle. If you stare at it a bit more though, logic kind of takes over and you can deduce that the front building is the one on the left, of course. Oh, and I almost forgot, the dress is white and gold. Thanks for watching, smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content.